Next one to quickly touch upon this. Have you guys seen this? I think this is quite hilarious, right? Um, so this is a courtesy of Jezebel, but also um, he did an interview with El País, um, a Spanish outlet. Gerard Piquet is kind of speaking for the first time about his breakup with Shakira, which a lot of people are alleging had to do with cheating and stuff, blah, 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 blah. And for whatever reason, I don't know what it happens to celebrities, no, what happens to high profile guys in relationships, but sometimes depending on who the girl is, the internet just decides that you're not deserving of them. Even though I'd, I'd say, you know, from a no homo point of view and even from a yes homo point of view, Jared Pique is a pretty good looking dude. He's a pretty handsome guy, I think. But for, from the very beginning, people always had this feeling that he didn't deserve her. Like he was like, she was too good for him or something, which makes sense because Shakira is obviously really hot as well. I understand that. But they're going on as if like um, Jared Pique is like a passport bro. He's not, do you know what I mean? He's not that ugly. But regardless, that's always happened. So then when the cheating happened and when that breakup happened, the internet immediately sided with Shakira and said, oh my God, how could he cheat on her? He didn't deserve her, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, as if cheating actually dependent on what person looks like. It doesn't. And also, he's not ugly. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's also a prize for people, clearly, because he ended up with somebody who a lot of the internet think is also hot and sometimes think is an upgrade. But regardless of that, some of his comments and how he's been going about the whole thing has been pretty good because the internet is trying to bully him, but obviously he's a multimillionaire and he's a, you know, he's a bit of a playboy, obviously, and he kind of has a bit of an ego too. So he's kind of leaning into it and he's not being bullied. And he's, it feels like he's kind of trolling in this interview. So he gives an interview with El Pais and he says the following. I thought this is pretty happy, right? <laughs> this is pretty crazy. So the internet's hounding him saying he shouldn't have cheated on her. Oh my God, you dog. And just, you know, his mentions and his comments on his Instagram and stuff in Spanish must be flipping crazy so he gets an interview the first one the kind of first interview off the back of this breakup to kind of you know clear the air and stuff and make him look like a good guy he says as follows pk told the outlet that he's very happy right now even at the most hated man on the continent of europe he says i keep doing what i want wow <laughs> he said the day that i die i will look back and hope and have always done what i wanted he even added and went to say i want to be faithful to myself <laughs> what do you think that's about what do you think that's about? And even it follows here. It says, I'm not going to spend money cleaning up my image. There have been changes in my life and I've learned to preserve my happiness. Good for it. So what do you think that's about? I think he's trolling personally. I think he's leaning into it a little bit and he's not taking it seriously. But I love the fact that he's saying what most people should be saying in this scenario because there's no way you can kind of win and convince the internet that you're a good guy because you've cheated on Shakira, who everybody thinks is like a sweetheart, right? And it's basically their person. So you're always going to be the bad guy in this, especially if they don't think that you deserve that in the first place. So you kind of have to lean into it. You kind of have to play the heel and be the bad guy, right? It says, I'm very happy right now. I keep doing what I want. <laughs> the day that I die, I'll look back and hope that I've always done what I wanted. And that line as well got them in it. That even gagged fucking Jezebel. I want to be faithful to myself. <laughs> I fucking love it. And I love the fact that the internet has decided, especially women online, have gotten so emotional over this. They're literally crying. And if anything, this should be, this should maybe be like, this should be like maybe a, a comforting story to hear from people. For some people, especially women out there, or people just in general, <coughs> that when it comes to cheating, when it comes to adultery, when it comes to that sort of stuff, betrayal, it doesn't really matter about what you look like. For some reason, some people have this weird idea in their heads that just because somebody has money or because they look a certain way that they can't get cheated on, that's obviously not the case. And sometimes, uh, like I look at it in my head, and I think to myself, if if I ever, if 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 I ever got cheated on or so whatever it may be, the maybe the more comforting one would be hmm, no, the more comforting aspect. Again, this sounds really bizarre, but the most comforting one for me, someone cheated on me. I'd be, I wouldn't be as annoyed if it was like a one night stand, right? Somebody happened something and they, you know, whatever, something happened, they got drunk, they got too high. It still crushed me, but it wouldn't annoy me as much as if you found out your partner ended up, I don't know, randomly falling in love with a colleague or something, right? <laughs> it's like, there's nothing you can do because they've just decided, oh no, this is the person I want now. This is, I found the light. Like, oh my God, this person's like, open my eyes, open my chakra, right? They've made me scream in ways I've never screamed before that would break me more than just kissing some that would, that would break me more than fucking kissing luke rockhold that i flip in barbecue somewhere do you know what i mean i wouldn't really care about that but if it came to them falling in love with like the 
Vinman or like the postman or something, you're like, oh my God, I'm crushed. But for some reason, women out there think it's all to do with looks. So I think this should be a comforting story that any it can happen to anybody and we all have our own issues. But I just love the fact that Gerard Pique is kind of leaning into it and being a real heel. He's kind of being like the Spanish Kevin Samuels. Do you know what I mean? He's just doing what the fuck he wants. It's proper LAD behavior. So big up Gerard Pique for being an LAD.